So I wanted to show you guys kind of how vehicles come into the country. This is going to be uh, one of two ways. The first way would be your vehicle put in a container, kind of like this. Or second, your vehicle being put onto a railroad vessel, uh, which is the more common way. And the difference of cost of shipping, if you import a car from, say, a foreign country like Japan, like this is my customs importer that I use, is called Japan Partner. They charge about $1,000 to ship your vehicle on a railroad vessel, which is roll on, roll off. The vehicle is driven onto the vessel and driven off. Or the other way is a container, which you can put your vehicle in a 20-foot container, which is going to cost you more than $2,000, 2000 to 2500 So here's a time lapse of what you can expect from your car coming across the ocean in a railroad vessel. Now keep in mind these cargo ships are massive. They hold up to 5,000 vehicles and they're like a 13 story massive parking garage. So it's absolutely amazing the size and scale of these. So one of my buddies knew that I imported my Skyline as well as my uh, Fairlady Z from Japan. And he uh, texted me when he was working on one of the railroad ships and saw uh, that there was a couple Skylines on there. He texted me a picture and, and that's kind of how I got into working down on the waterfront. I ended up talking to him and talking to his boss that runs the company and they ended up hiring me to work down there. So that's kind of a, a cool little thing uh, how my Skyline got me to get a second job working on the waterfront. Kind of fun. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you uh, did, give me a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. And for you guys that follow me on the channel, um, the reason I'm kind of sharing some uh, import exports with vehicles and stuff and shipping and that type of stuff is because I'm in the process of bidding on cars in the auction right now. So I'm gonna have more videos uh, sharing as far as what cars I'm looking at and considering purchasing. I'm um, thinking maybe a Supra, a Sylvia RX-7, something like that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.